We get to all of those stories, but first we begin with one that has a lot of you still talking that deadly attack on police near the US Capitol. Police say a man rammed his car into two Capitol Police officers. Officer William Evans was killed. Another officer injured and the suspect shot and killed by police. The attack on Friday is reigniting debates on what should happen to the fencing around the U.S. Capitol. Lawmakers are planning to review all security measures moving forward. Matthew Torres joining us live. And Matthew, you spoke with residents in Capitol Hill who are a bit concerned about permanent fencing. Well, Larry, it's a tricky balance trying to secure the Capitol while also trying to make it as open as possible. Over the weekend, crews installed new barriers and reinforced the fence, reminding us that the Capitol can easily be a target. As a memorial for Officer Billy Evans grows, I was horrified and saddened. Questions are growing over what the future of security will look like at the Capitol. I'm sure that there will be lots of pressure to maintain and even strengthen the barrier. Just weeks earlier, security officials began scaling back and removing the outside perimeter. Pressure was mounting from both lawmakers and residents to ease the military grip. In February, D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton even introduced a bill to ban a permanent fencing. It is outrageous and unthinkable. But after a suspect ran into Officer Evans at a security checkpoint and killed him, it again raises safety questions and could delay fully reopening the Capitol grounds. We've just got to get more information. And then we can go back and and kind of reevaluate with the security experts as to what the next move may be. Representative Tim Ryan helps oversee security in the Capitol. He says his subcommittee will be reviewing everything, including fencing and a report by task force that recommends a retractable mobile fence. It's going to take a bipartisan effort. This is about the security of the nation's capital. That's the temple of democracy. And we've got to make sure that it is secure. Capitol Hill residents understand they need to keep the complex safe, but they fear those changes will forever change the landscape of their neighborhood. Uh, whatever they decide to do, unfortunately, I think it will be permanent. I don't mind more barriers that go up and down, but permanent fencing so that people can enjoy the Capitol doesn't work. And Capitol Police did say earlier that the security infrastructure here must change. And so far since Friday, we have not seen additional barriers or fencing. Reporting live at the Capitol, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Matthew, thank you. You know, the black bunting that now hangs on the front of the U.S. Capitol building to honor slain Capitol Hill police officer Billy Evans. It has been there, sadly. Uh, Evans was killed Friday and another officer was hurt when a man rammed his vehicle into Evans and a fellow officer at a barricade in front of the Capitol, the 25 year old suspect Noah Green was shot and killed by police. In addition to the black bunting, flags at the U.S. Capitol are lowered to half staff. President Joe Biden also ordered flags at the White House be lowered.